you don't know until you're there because they look good. When looking for the best care facility for an elderly family member, you'll most likely do your homework, phone calls, interviews, tours. You might even know to check the state's taxpayer-funded online database for abuse complaints, if you can find it. But all that research still might not be enough. The Oregonian and Oregon Live found the state's online database is missing about 60% of the problems at elder care facilities since 2005. And the records that are online are vague about what went wrong. Touring a facility is only going to show you oftentimes what the physical aesthetics of a building are. And it doesn't show you what's actually happening behind the scenes. All very important factors that can be reflected again on this information that you know, isn't available. The director tells you this, gives you this whole song and dance about, you know, what we offer here, and you believe it. That's Catherine Oftedal. Her mom, Helen Wheaton, lived at Assumption Village, a faith based assisted living facility in the St. John's area of North Portland. Type in Assumption Village into the state's online database. 22 complaint records show up. But when we cross-check against the state's missing records, 52 show up. That's 30 missing records, including medication mix-ups, valuables gone missing, and hospitalization. The time came when she became incontinent of urine. She wasn't getting changed enough. And mom became septic. It's a very serious kind of um, blood difficulty that uh, you could die from. And the funny thing is, is that when their behavior changes, the staff never thinks that, oh, I wonder if Miss Helen has a urinary tract infection. Maybe I better check that and call her doctor. Uh, no. It would always be us who was finding it. And we ended up having to take her to the hospital by an ambulance. And that wasn't a good scene either. And she was there for 11 days. The facility that cared for Catherine's mom said they can't comment on her case because of privacy rules, but say they do take complaints seriously and see no reason to hide them. Sometimes our side of the story starts with, we made a mistake. And when that's the case, we're going to own it and we're going to try to learn from it. Assumption Village is just one case where the state omitted records from its website. Almost 8,000 cases of abuse, neglect, or substandard care at nearly 600 long-term care facilities are hidden from the public. Washington Gardens Memory Care in Tigard showed a completely clean record online. But the offline records told a different story. A resident started vomiting late at night, developed a fever, and in the morning cried for help. But investigators found staff didn't call 911 right away. When medics finally did arrive, the person was dead. And this record remained offline until the Oregonian and Oregon Live started asking the Department of Human Services about it. The agency posted this record and 11 others from this facility from previous years in March. With other facilities, the complaints that do show up online are vague. Descriptions are limited to terms like inadequate hygiene or exposed to potential harm. They don't include a narrative of what happened. Take, for example, Golden Age Center in Northeast Portland. One of its residents fell in the middle of the night and was bleeding from the head. Instead of getting a nurse to assess the situation, the resident was put back in bed. They complained of pain the next day, and it turned out the resident had suffered a fractured hip. How did the state's website describe all this? Unreasonable discomfort. That's it. It's just more of a reflection of investments needing to be made and priorities uh, placed elsewhere. When we're trying to provide information to the public, I want it to be complete. So I'll be doing everything I can to try to make sure that we fix all of the underlying problems with that database so that it's pulling accurate information and so that it's more consumer and user friendly. We want people to have confidence that their parents, whether it's here or anywhere, are getting what they need. Officials at DHS plan to create a new website that'll show all complaints. But that could take several years. First, it has to replace one internal software system and expand another. For now, officials have posted a few dozen previously omitted complaints and added this vague disclaimer to the bottom of their website. They posted about it months after first learning about the problem from the Oregonian and Oregon Live. Until those missing records are online with more details, Oftedal is worried that more consumers will be deceived. You know, you can dress it up all you want, but
but if mom's sitting in her room wet, nothing else matters.